think the fact that it was gifted to a lot of influencers sometimes it actually makes the bag undesirable. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I wanted to just mention my lipstick color today. I'm trying to make a habit of telling you my lipstick of the day. Today I'm wearing the NYX Matte Lip Cream from the Barbie movie. This color is called Dream House Pink and I've topped it off with the NYX Barbie Party Butter Gloss in It's a Barbie Party color. Um, so just these. And yeah, they weren't that expensive. I think I got them at the chemist or something and I was sucked into the packaging. Today I wanted to talk about bags that you guys hate and I found this out because I asked on my Instagram uh, what bags that um, you guys are not liking this year and you know some of these bags are super popular and I feel like we've seen them a lot on social media however sometimes you know you might see an it bag and absolutely hate it and these are some it bags that you guys have said you're not liking. First one is the Chanel Kelly bag. I tend to agree with not liking this bag. I mean, it is extremely cute. I do personally prefer the vintage version. I like how it was kind of a better, it looked like a little bit of a better leather. Uh, it commonly came in caviar. It did come in a lambskin and sometimes it came in exotics as well. It just overall looked more expensive to me. I think the 24K plated hardware looked a little bit more luxe. However, the new version is in this kind of calfskin distressed finish, which I don't think looks great to be honest and I think it's <laughs> a little outrageous that the price is around 8,000 Australian for this bag so I mean it is a cute bag but to me it doesn't look like a really expensive bag to be honest it doesn't look like an 8k bag which is why I personally don't love it and the overall proportions of the bag I think aren't as cute as they used to be in the 90s. Next bag that you guys are hating on is the Chanel 22. Now there's been a lot of Chanel 22 drama on YouTube, quality issues, all that. But when this bag first came out, to me, I never got the hype. To top it off, guys, there's going to be an East West 22 bag, which looks just... I mean, come on, guys. I mean, I know the East West trend is really, you know, a thing at the moment. A lot of brands are doing the East West silhouette bags. But Chanel, like, do you really need to make an East West 22 bag? I, it's just... Like, if it can not get any worse, they've made it worse now, right? A lot of you guys said you didn't like the Laurel Piana pochette bag. And, you know, I actually think it's quite cute. However, it from afar, you wouldn't really... It's a, more of a if-you-know-you-know you know bag, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, I watched Tiana Perry's review of this bag, and that kind of made me feel like it's probably not worth it. I've heard other people say that they love the bag, but it's one of those bags that I think you either love or hate. Like most of these bags, I feel, feel like the 22 is a bag you either love or hate. And the Laura Piana, oh, I mean, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I don't hate it, but I do think it's a little bit, you know, it's kind of going on that quiet luxury trend. And if you didn't know what Laura Piana was before, why are you buying it now? Just because a lot of influencers are wearing it. Like, you know, sometimes I think it's best to just discover things on your own. And, you know, who am I to say what you should wear? But, you know, I just feel like it's really like one of those nothing bags, right? Like just because it became popular on Instagram, why is everyone buying it now? I don't know. I think it's because that um, something Richie lady wore it. Ugh, I don't know. I'm a bit out of the loop, guys. But yeah, she's like, you know, it just takes a few celebrities to wear a bag and it becomes viral. So it's kind of like that. Next is the Dior uh, Toujours bag tote. Oh, yes. So this is a bag that was, I feel like, gifted to many influencers. And I can understand why some of you guys hate it because... It was all over my Instagram as well. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's just another oversized tote bag. Has a bit of a picotin looking, uh, like, thing going through it. I don't know. It gave me picotin vibes. I don't know. It, is it just me? Maybe, maybe it's just me. But it is a little bit more of an elevated tote bag. I don't hate it. I think it could be quite practical. It's a little bit more elevated than a Neverfull or something. It has that carnage quilting. But I think the fact that it was gifted to a lot of influencers sometimes, it actually makes the bag undesirable to me. I'm just like, oh, well, then in that case, like, it's like oversaturated now because you can just, you know, all these people got it for free. But I, I feel like a lot of people are starting to feel that way. But, you know, I, I it must still be effective gifting things to influencers because 
it does help. Uh, I guess it just lets the consumer know that the thing exists because these days, you know, no one reads magazines, no one. And if you want to pay a celebrity, it's going to cost a lot more than if you pay an influencer, I'm assuming, but who knows, right? So yeah, there's that. Uh, let me know what you think of that bag, guys. Uh, the YSL Ica bag, this definitely doesn't surprise me. Now, I don't actually hate this bag. I do think it's a little bit over the top, but I think on the right person, it could actually look quite cool. I don't know, if I had to style this bag on me, I'd have to look kind of grungy and like really cool to and i feel like the vibe of it is very vintage chanel so i'd have to look like a rock girl i know it sounds really lame but to wear it but if i dressed up and look really glamorous and wore this i think it'd look a bit tacky but i think if you wore it in like a contrasting way it could like look quite cool um i'm actually surprised this bag is still really popular because a lot of people have been going for less logos lately but uh you know if you look at chanel's latest collection as well i was watching jess we lose video the other day because i haven't looked at chanel in a while i'm just not interested um she pointed out these uh chanel bags that are going to have massive cc's on it which is very reminiscent of some of the uh, 90s jumbos that you know used to come out so i do think that the, that oversized logo in gold is it's a very like 90s look uh very over the top i even think of like versace with all the gold hardware all that so it kind of ties into that vintage vibe i think if you style it in the right way it can look cool but i don't know it, you do have to kind of it doesn't suit everyone i would say it looks a little bit crazy on some people and it's not cheap as well i think it's around over six thousand australian dollars but i've heard it's still selling really well and they've bought out more iterations of it as well again it was one of those bags that was gifted to a lot of celebrities as well so we saw it a lot on our instagram um the on the go east west okay now this bag yeah, I mean, I don't hate East-West bags, but the on-the-go East-West in the monogram, it looks a little bit too busy to me because you've got the monogram reverse on one side and then the other side is the brown and then the handles are two different colours and to top it off, you've got the guitar strap with the coin purse and then the top zip. The way it sits crossbody, I feel like is a bit weird because it's like a rectangle shape and then it's got the handles and then the, the colours. It's just... It's a lot happening on one bag. I don't hate the bag in like plain black, I think with the chain strap, but with the guitar and the and just just everything, it's just too much. I just think it's like it just it hurts my eyeballs looking at it. It's just like too many elements to the bag, like they couldn't decide. And I definitely think that, you know, although I, I'm I'm a fan of a fabric strap, sometimes a guitar strap can be really comfortable in a bag. You have to kind of pair it with a bag that doesn't have too much going on because sometimes the guitar strap itself can be quite a statement but the fact that the bag is east west which is a bit weird and then it's got that crazy monogram and the coin purse it's just it's a bit overkill so yeah i don't really like this bag either and the celine 16 some of you guys said you didn't like the celine 16 um i mean I don't hate this bag, but it does remind me of the bat symbol. I don't know why. It looks like an evil Kelly bag, which I, I don't hate it, to be honest. I think that the leather looks really nice. I don't have much experience with Celine bags. I've never bought a Celine bag. Uh, but I can see why maybe some people would think, oh, you know, this is just a, sh you know, why don't you just get a Hermes Kelly or something? Maybe, I don't know. But to me, it doesn't really look like a Kelly. Yes, it's a top handle bag with a flap, but... I think the clasp is quite unique and just the the curves of it but um you know when it first came out when eddie first became the new designer of celine i saw it and i thought mm, i don't know about that like it didn't grab me i know when uh you know the sac du jour came out for example which was another one of his designs i was immediately drawn to it maybe because it looks a bit more like a birkin i suppose but I don't know, but like, yeah, some of his designs I really love, but that never grabbed me. So I wouldn't, I don't hate it, but yeah, I can see why it's not for everyone's cup of tea. Uh, yeah, but let me know what you think of the Celine 16. Do you love it or do you hate it? Yeah, let me know, guys, what it bags you haven't liked this year. I mean, you know, I don't want to spread hate or whatever, but sometimes it's funny to, uh, you know, get other people's views on different bags. Maybe you can see something in a bag that you haven't seen before. I don't know. And, you know, I'm sure I also own many bags that you guys might not like, which I, no offense taken, we're all different, which makes, you know, 
the world interesting, right? So anyways, thanks for listening to my video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!